This is the fixed uh, turbine dart engine. I'm going through the airflow of the basic engine here. So the air comes in from the front, from the turboprop, into the centrifuge compressor. And this one has two compressors. So the first compressor, we have a pressure ratio rise of 4.5 to 1. The air will be centrifugal be spun outside into the next component, which is the diffuser. The diffuser, like compressor, is divergent in shape, so pressure increases as well as temperature, the velocity decreases. We raise the pressure again into the second compressor. Again, this compressor raises the pressure again into the diffuser, last chance before it hits, it goes through to the combustion chamber. As it goes to the combustion chamber, we have the elbow here, and we go into what is called the snout of the combustion chamber at this type of specific time. The air that comes in is split into a few parts, and a few percentages are we have 20% into the snout. That gets split again to two parts, which is 12% and 8%. The 12% gets split into the swirl chambers, which is down here. The other 8% again helps aid combustion. The last 80% is used for cooling, and out of the cooling air, that is split into three parts primary, secondary, and tertiary. The primary air helps aid combustion, sometimes we call it anchoring the flame. The secondary phase is shapes the flame. And the last part, the tertiary, is we call it cutting off the flame. And that stops the flame propagating onto the next component, so we don't burn the next component. The next component of the combustion chamber is the nozzle guide mains, or ref commonly referred to as NGVs. These are fixed. And this time, as we've done the compression before the engine, we're now trying to accelerate the gas as fast as we can onto a two-stage turbine. And if you look back a bit, you can see the combustion can is also converging. Again, this accelerates the gas onto the nozzle guide vanes and through to the turbines. Nozzle guide vanes, you'll have one of these, and then a disc of turbine blades, followed by another set of NGVs, and a disc depending on the engine type. And normally this type of engine, a turboprop, you would have more, turbine stages compared to a normal turbojet, which will have less. The turbojet is accelerating gas, whereas we can extract more gas using a separate uh, turbine disc to help spin the propeller at the front. Common methods of fixing the turbine blades to the disc is what's called a third tree root system. And this one is very similar. You can just see here the shape of the blades as it fits there. The third tree looks like a little Christmas tree. And that helps spread the load of the turbine blades as it gets spun centrifugally. And the turbine itself is the least life module. In other words, it's got the lowest amount of hours, which uh, allows the engine to be taken out at a certain point. So it goes through a lot of stress, heat, cyclic, and everything else in between. And that's the basic airflow as it comes out. Again, we'd have exhaust here. Depending on the type of engine, it could be a fixed exhaust, or it could be a variable exhaust as well. That's your